Hello everybody, I am back with my second part of my November favorites dash empties. This part is for the household. It's early right now, it's not even 8 a.m. My husband just took Jackson to school and um, is going to the doctor and I really wanted to get this video filmed to keep on schedule and he's off work today. So that means he is going to be home and it's gonna be hard to film. So here I am, um, I've already um, done my monthly empties and favorites in beauty products. That link is below in case you want to check it out. Today is more like household stuff. So let's start with the kitchen stuff first. So I recently bought these Rachel Ray tongs and I'm impressed with them, let me say, because they have this little notch in them. See that? And it hooks right to the side of your pan and your tongs won't fall in and get all messy, which happens sometimes. I have never paid, and I went to culinary school, I can never remember paying $16 for a pair of tongs. But my tongs were wearing out. They were actually um, heat resistant, kind of like these. There's a metal tong inside of these and my old ones. And after like probably two and a half years, this part opened up kind of like split open and I would get food in there and it would make it very hard to clean so I was like done with those and my husband and I were shopping we saw these we decided to try them and they work really well I think every kitchen needs a good pair of tongs I don't know about a $16 pair you can find any pair of tongs that will work for you but I am impressed I'm not a huge fan of orange um, but that's Rachel Ray's like favorite color so a lot of her products are in orange but I love that it has the little hooks where you can hook it right onto your pan or your pot and you don't lose your um, tongs so those are great and I guess worth the $16 um, these Javiva cafes um, are amazing too I have been drinking a lot of these this one is the cappuccino this is caramel macchiato and this one right here is mocha latte and what these are i've already shown these and i do so many free samples on my blog at kjaggers.com again the link is below but this is so simple so you take this real milk froth packet you dump it in your cup you take the k-cup and you either make it in your k-cup machine or you just put it in your coffee cup it says it makes um one cup of coffee i find that really um Sometimes it's a little strong for me on one of these. So maybe like one and a half cups. But usually for me, I will pour my coffee in one cup and my milk froth in another and sweeten up the coffee before pouring it over the froth packet. And when you pour it over this, it makes this wonderful foam. And if you don't have one of those home foamers like I have or a cappuccino machine or something that can help make foam, these are great. And you can also make foam in the microwave. You can um, check out how I do that too. That link will be below. I'm trying to remember what links to put below. So I have a little list. If you see me looking down for a second, I'm probably writing down what links to put in because I forget. But this is such a nice foaming um, little packet. It's made from real milk and Javiva is great. I have a cup or a pack of coffee right back there on my counter. It's my go-to coffee. These are wonderful. I know some people don't like them. Try it first with sweetening up your coffee before before pouring it in over your, your froth packet because, you know, when you stir that froth up a lot, I think it like, you know, just like deflates it. So I like to sweeten my coffee and then pour it over. You can add some nutmeg, some cinnamon. My favorite is the cappuccino. That one is my absolute favorite, even though I love the caramel macchiato and the mo mo uh, mocha latte. I love both of those, but the cappuccino is my favorite. Next up, I have been loving this Numi Organic Tea in Honey Brush. Now, it says that this tea is from South Africa, and their honey brush is a flowering shrub that yields a rich, earthy brew with sweet honey overtones. And it has a ton of antioxidants in it. And the only ingredient is organic honey brush. So this is a South African tea. It is a tea bag. And I don't know if you guys know how tea bags or how like tea bags are made. But when they're processing the tea leaves, all the little pieces that kind of break off or 
are not as good quality go into the tea bags. So I'm not a huge fan of tea in bags, but I'm getting better with it. However, this one is a really good tea. It's perfect for bed because it's caffeine free and it's sweet. And I do sometimes sweeten it up with either honey or some sugar. Um, you wouldn't have to do that, of course. You could use stevia or just nothing. Um, it's just a naturally sweet, soft, beautiful tea. I love this tea. If you have a Numi tea, because I've just started drinking, I mean, I have probably three or four Numis, but if you, um, I don't have a lot of them, have a favorite Numi tea, let me know in the comments below, and I will try it out. I'd love to hear what your favorites are. So, I got these a while back. These are the Chefin um, Salt and Pepper Shakers. This is what they look like. They're magnetized. Mine need a little bit of a cleaning, but... You know, for me, I don't have really strong hands, and when I'm trying to, you know, grind that pepper mill sometimes, it hurts my hands. But these look like little buddies to me. And all you do is just squeeze the ears, and you get what you need. Same with the salt. So nice. And let me throw some of that salt over my sugar for good luck. Um, these have magnets, so they stay right on my refrigerator. I think these would make the perfect holiday present. I believe I got them, like, at a shop at a culinary store in the mall. I'm not sure, but you can find them. This is the Chefin. You just fill it by dropping down this window right here, and then fill it up and close it. These are brilliant. I love them. We use them a lot. They're so cute. I think they look like little rabbits, and again, they hang on the refrigerator for convenience. So, when I was in CVS maybe a couple weeks ago, I had to pick up some prescriptions and I needed some Advil. And it's hard for me to take a pill without having something to, like, push it down my throat besides a drink. So, I ran into these Berkshire Dark Pomegranate Candies. These are made by Hershey's and Company, and they are so good. Um, they are dark, dark chocolate over a piece of pomegranate, like candy almost, um, or jelly, like a pomegranate jelly candy if that makes any sense and um there's 180 calories for about a fourth of a cup so you know they they do have some calories to them but these are so good and i think you know if you're somebody who doesn't want to make a lot of treats at christmas or whatever you could pick a couple of these packets up set them in candy dishes around your house everybody would love them this is perfect for the holidays being that it's in pomegranate i think they have other ones I'm just not sure, and it doesn't list them here. But again, I found these at CBS, and they are delicious. I think the last food item I'm going to talk to you about is the Angie's um, Holly Drizzle White Chocolate Tear, White Chocolate Tear um, Peppermint Kettle Corn. Now there is a chocolate one. I bought that too. It's, it has like brown up here, but this is so good. I have a half a bag left, and I'm trying to see. You can't really see the, there's a few pieces with red, like this one. Yeah, this smells so good, it's going to be my breakfast. See the little pieces of red fleck on there? That is the peppermint. We ate the chocolate one up in the day, the day we opened it. But this has 140 calories for one and a half cup, so a little bit better. And these are so nice. Again, I set them out over Thanksgiving. And they were just delicious. Everybody loved them. My son loves them. I love them. And they're made with whole grain. They are gluten-free, too. And um, just delicious. And if you see them in your store, this could be a great holiday snack for your family if you like popcorn. Moving on. Another thing with the kitchen. Actually, let me switch. Um, another beverage item that we have been loving are the... Carbonated drinks. They're the Japanese drink. This one is lychee. I showed this already um, Even on my vlog last night. Um, I guess I can link that below too. Let me write down vlog So I know not to forget Because um, I do forget to link some stuff in the down bar sometimes But these are Japanese and this one's lychee. It is like a raspberry flavor. It has this cool marble in it and you actually use the plunger, push the marble down in it. And my son, who is 11, he is a very picky eater. And he loves these. These are a product of Japan. And this has 6.7 fluid ounces. 90 calories for one of these. Not terribly bad. 
but they're just fun and they're yummy and if you have kids or picky eaters definitely like mine then when you go to like a Japanese steakhouse most of the time Jackson's like no 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 well this actually got him into the Japanese steakhouse because he wanted one of these so bad after having the first one he went and had some fried rice and some chicken so it's not um, a bad idea to woo your kids into trying something new and there's so many things out there that you know if you don't put it in front of them they're likely not to try it this is probably one of those but this one is really good and we love those so for Jackson's lunches, I have been loving the Lunch Blocks kit. Now this is just brilliant. I do have a review up. I will for sure link that below, but and it shows everything. Some of it's in his lunch today, but the, there's all kinds of little containers, and you can see the cutouts. It has this ice pack or this ice piece that fits. It has all the same cutouts as this, and it goes right on top of whatever container. This we have a whole bunch of them, and then. It still has these spots in that little ice block and you can fit your little items right on top and so it keeps those items fresh so like today Jackson has his ice block and then he has his mayonnaise for his sandwich right on top in a little lunch blocks um, you know a small little container that would fit right here this is brilliant I wish it was a different color than green but whatever we use these every day of the week and unless I'm making him eat at school these are so nice. So these are made by Rubbermaid. You can find them, I believe, at Target, Walmart, and Kmart, and of course, Rubbermaid.com. They did not send me these. These were not a free gift. I bought them, and I just love them. So check those out if you got a little one in school. Now, um, did I forget anything? I don't think I did. So now let's move on into laundry. So I get a lot of questions about the Biosera Super Wash Balls, which that's what these are. And I use a lot of Tide and people are wondering, do I still use these? Do I like them? Do I not? I still use them. I love them. The only downside that I have found to these is that you have to let them sit in the washer for like 20 minutes. It does change the color of your water a little bit. There's these little balls in the other review will explain it in detail. But sometimes I don't have the time to wait 20 minutes. And it might sound funny, but I really don't sometimes in terms of laundry. So I do still reach for Tide. I use these a lot on dog beds, on our towels, on our blankets, sheets, stuff that really isn't heavily soiled. I will use these on. Even if it is heavily soiled, these will clean it. I'm just still a Tide girl and um, oh, these smell so good. And um, I use both. Now, um, you have to sit these outside for like 30 minutes a month just to take out any odors. But these smell so good. I kind of got a story for you. I never, mm, it's taking me back to it too. I have never went to the laundry mat until I was like in my late 20s. My um, family had washers and dryers and my dad did my laundry for me. I know that sounds crazy because I was in my 20s and my dad was doing my laundry, but he was. And I went to a laundry mat the first time like when I was 28. And I never knew how good it would smell in there. And these smell exactly the same. And, um, and maybe they're not really supposed to smell as good as they smell. But when I threw these in, I threw some of those downy unstoppables in. So they smell so good. I gotta stop smelling them. I love them. But yes, I still use these. They are brilliant. If you have somebody with allergies or any problems, you know, with laundry soap or harsh soaps on their skin, try these out. You can find them at QVC. That list is, or that um, review is linked below in the list, and um, I love them. I really do. I, I vow never to buy laundry soap again. That's still hard to do. It really is hard to make that switch, but I do like these, and I do use them still. And if you really do want to save on money, especially if you have a larger family, try them out, because, I mean, they really do save. Um, so I have also been using a lot, and this one's dirty, but I'm going to show you anyway. This is the Woolite Carpet Cleaner. I don't even know what it's called, but I think it's the Carpet Cleaner. It just says Woolite. And we don't have, like, a carpet cleaner of our own. We just don't. We usually hire people to come in and clean it, or we'll rent one of those machines, like, at the grocery store. And we have a lot of cats, and sometimes hair boss happens, sometimes the dog gets sick, sometimes a kitten has an accident. This works so good to clean it up. 
You take the little can of the heavy traffic deep clean and protect spray from Woolite. Put it down in. It you can have it where it sprays or you can have it locked with this little mechanism right here. And then when you push down, the foam comes out and then it has these bristles that you scrub the carpet with. And it's worked really well around our house whenever a cat gets sick or an accident happens. And it's, you know, it's cost effective. It didn't cost much to buy. It's easier than getting down and scrubbing with your hands. And it works well And that um, foam cleaner works really nice on getting stains up. So I have also been loving these candles. Now I do have, I did use like my last Bath and Body sugar cookie candle recently, but these candles are smoke eliminators. Scott and I smoke and everybody seems to be up in a tizzy about it half the time. We usually leave the windows open. We don't smoke like really close to Jackson. And when guests come over, we really don't even smoke in our own house a lot of times. A lot of times, like if my mom's here who doesn't smoke, or my sister, or somebody's here, Scott and I will go outside. But a lot of times that scent still lingers, the, the cigarette smell if we have, like, having to smoke in the house. And these, I can't read it because it's all, like, messed up. But these smoke eliminator candles that I got from Walmart, I believe I got these, I want to say in, like, the cleaning aisle back where you get all of the, the smoke good stuff. These work so nice. They really do eliminate smoke. My mother-in-law was letting me know that she couldn't smell any of the smoke um, in our house. And she really thought these candles were probably why. They're just nice. And, you know, we do plan on quitting. But in the meantime, we don't want our house to smell like an ashtray. So we have been using these. I have these in almost every bedroom with the exception of Jackson's. I have two down here on the first floor. This one goes in the living room. And we have one in the dining room. So they really do help. So, you know, if you have a problem with any kind of smell, even, you know, pet smells, the smoke eliminators really help with those too. So check that out. I don't know the brand. I think it's Glade. But it wore off. It's hard for me to see. Let's see. What else do I need to go over? So let's go over what I've been reading and watching. I have so been loving this movie by Netflix. It's the prize winner of Defiance, Ohio. I talked to you guys about this already, but this is such a sweet movie. It has Juliana Moore and Woody Harrelson. They have like a gaggle of kids. She has to like help support her family through like contest. And it's based back in the 50s, 40s or 50s, I'm not sure. I think the 50s. And she's a stay at home wife and mom. And it's almost like an inspiring kind of movie for anybody who stays home with their children. I really liked it. Um, I've watched it like four or five times, and I'll probably watch it a couple more before it goes back. But this is such a good movie. It's an older movie. Um, the CD don't have the year on it. I'm not sure when the movie was made, but I'm telling you, it was a good movie. And you don't want to miss it, especially if you're a stay-at-home wife and mom. So every year when the seasons change, you know, you have to update the house, the furniture, the outside furniture, the gutters, the garage, and sometimes I need to be refreshed on what needs to be done. And who could refresh me better than the queen herself, Miss Martha Stewart? This is her homekeeping book, and I think this is one of the best gifts she could give, like a newly married couple. There's a cat here, like floating. I'm sorry if you saw it. Um, a newly married couple, or even treat yourself with. Um, because there's so many tips and tricks in this book and she lists all kinds of things that you can do to protect your house in each season. There's great pictures in this book. There's great house um, information. You can figure out so much stuff from this one book. She even has recipes in it. I've had this since my first marriage and um, I love this book. It is brilliant and I've been trying to weatherproof the house for winter. And I've been, you know, pulling this out for tips and tricks. So, again, it's a great Christmas present, too. I think you can find it for, like, 40 bucks. Um, it might be cheaper now. I'm not sure. Another guilty pleasure for me is this Life magazine about the Royals and the little cute Prince George. And, you know, I'm, I like reading about the Royals. I like it. I just always have. And this book has so much stuff in it. It's the collector's edition. And I just love it. And I haven't gotten even halfway through it because there's so much information in this book. 
look how pretty Kate looks. But, um, and there's a pretty picture of Kate and William and the baby on the back. This was $13 and 17 in Canada. And I just really like it. And I, when I had the chance, I just flipped through it and read it a little bit. I don't always sit down and read a home magazine back to, you know, front to back. But I do read um, the magazine over time. And that one I just kind of, you know, read little bits and pieces here and there. Two other things I've been reading are these, um, basically, prayer books. So, you know, I'm not a hugely religious person. I studied Kabbalah for uh, five or six years, and I still study Kabbalah. But I believe in God. I believe in angels. I believe in heaven. And I believe in prayer. Do I believe everything in the Bible? No, I'm not one of those diehard people who believe everything in the Bible is exactly how it happened. I don't believe that. Um, but I believe in prayer. I believe there's lessons to be learned from so many things in the Bible. And a lot of these um, prayer books have, you know, scriptures in them. And then they kind of give you the current day take on that scripture. So this one is my morning book, and every morning, not a morning passes, and this will go with me when I travel, I open it up and I read, you know, um, the page, and today I will tell you just a little bit about what it says. Today is December 4th, let me get to my little marker here, and for December 4th it says, and I had to start in the back because I got this early or, you know, late, so I'm starting, like, in the back, and then, um, as the new year comes, I'll come more into the front in January, and so this says, and I've already read this this morning, it says, my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are, neither are your ways my ways, as the heavens are lighter than the earth, so are my ways and thoughts higher than yours, remember who I am when you spend time with me, marvel in the wonder of being able to commune with the king of the universe any time, any place. Never take this amazing privilege for granted. Though I am vastly higher and greater than you, I am training you to think my thoughts. As you spend time in my presence, my thoughts gradually form into your mind. My spirit is the director of this process. Sometimes he brings the Bible verses to mind. Sometimes he enables you to hear me speak directly to you. These communications strengthen you and prepare you for whatever is before you on your life path. Take time to listen to my voice. Through your sacrifice of precious time, I bless you far more than you dare to ask. Isaiah 55, 8-9, um, Palm 1116-116-17. So that's beautiful. And this always puts me in a great outlook for the morning. It's not negative. Um, you know, I watch CNN like a maniac, and all that is, you know, mostly negative and heart-wrenching, and it's hard to not get depressed sometimes. And when I read this first, it makes me feel better about watching the news and whatever's going on. The same goes for my night prayer book. And, um, I read this little 365 day pocket prayers um, every night before bed it does the exact same thing last night there was a prayer about happiness and it says my savior according to the declaration of independence the pursuit of happiness is supposed to be an unalienable right belonging to everyone naturally and legally I certainly see people working hard to obtain this exclusive experience perhaps as their own way to declare their independence I've also heard parents say about children, I just want them to be happy. That sounds good, and while I want happiness too, but I don't see many good options in the world for, for the kind that I desire. Most people's happiness don't last very long, probably because it's based on short-lived pleasures and experience such as partying hard, having a great vacation, or owning the latest techn technology or electronic toy. None of those are necessarily bad, but they are poor substitutes for the real thing. According to your word and my experience, true happiness is found only in doing your will, living close to you, and living your way. Keep me from following trivial pursuits totally dependent on you. I want the happiness 
that only you can bring. Make me walk along the path of your commands, for that is where my happiness is found. Palms 119, 35. So that was my prayer last night, and um, or my read, or my meditation. Everybody looks at these little moments different. I don't like to push religion down on anybody, but if you're somebody who struggles even with depression, which I will have a video up soon, or just want to keep your mind focused on the greater good instead of the greater bad, these little prayer books are good. And um, I love them. Kind of goes along with those. I'm still using my Be Still 2004 planner. It is not color-coded. It is um, just busy. And I love it. I keep using it. I'm going to use it for the entire year. I promise. I'm not going to switch. I might have some other ones such as a blog planner or whatever. But this one is going to be my planner for 2014. I know I will do an updated planner video sometime in the new year. I just don't know. Another thing I have absolutely been loving is my Thanksgiving planner. Now, it's kind of a mess. I've shown this already. I'll link that below. Again, let me write down planner. Planner, or I'll forget to link it. Thanksgiving. This kept me on track during Thanksgiving. I opened this all the time while I was cooking and working. I had it open um, with everything, all of our schedules, everything that I needed to make Thanksgiving go off um, with no problems was in this book. I do have a Christmas one. It's not like this, but this year for what I'm doing for Christmas is using this cute little folder with flowers and I will go over that more in a different video. It's not as detailed as the Thanksgiving because I'm not really hosting Thanksgiving. I'm traveling to Florida, Thanksgiving, Christmas. I'm traveling to Florida for Christmas and I'm gonna be making some stuff and taking some stuff, but I don't need a huge, huge, um, the camera just cut off. I guess I was rambling on too long again. So um, I don't need a huge planner and um, for this year. So I'm using this. I'll go through what I'm keeping in here later. Now as for what I'm wearing, and been enjoying clothes wise. I've been enjoying my flannels. This one is from Express. It's purple. And I've been wearing a lot of plaids, a lot of long sleeve shirts because I get cold super easy. And I just don't really want to sit around and shiver. I get cold all the time. And so I've been enjoying my plaid shirts. And you know, you can grab one of your husband's if you want to like sleep in it or something. But I find for women, that if you find flannels that are your size and fits you properly, they look really nice. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. Even um, like shirts like these, you can dress up and down. I just have a t-shirt on today and underneath it. And um, I've been wearing a lot of these. I pulled a lot of them out. And this is one of my favorite ones, which is the purple one. Also, purse-wise, for the month of November, I have been using this red leather purse. I don't know where I got it. I don't remember. I've had it for such a long time. But while I was in the closet today, picking out what I was wearing, I grabbed this brown like satchel purse. Doesn't have very long handles. And um, it, it's really cute. It has this cute little, it's the Kathy Van Zeeland purse. And um, like I said, it has that cute little emblem of like a queen's hat. And it has this. I'm going to switch to this today just to use something different because sometimes i got to switch it up or I get bored. And I'm almost done. The last thing that I've been wearing that I absolutely have been loving, I, I absolutely love these, are these Avon slip-on shoes. These are in size 7. They're actually a little bit big for me. I could have went with the 6.5. Um, but they are so comfortable. They have these ridges right inside so they feel great on your foot. They slip on. These are kind of like my house shoes. And my sister Trina sells Avon. I'll put her link below too. In case you want to, you know, head over there and buy something. If you don't have an Avon representative already, she'll be happy to help you. But these were so cute. I wear them all the time. I get asked about them a lot. And they are simply Avon shoes. I do love my Nikes. I love boots and heels. All that good stuff. But these are, um, have to be one of my favorites right now. And they're so comfortable that I wear them like as house shoes. So, I have rambled on. I'm looking around, making sure I'm not forgetting anything. I think that is everything that 
you know, I've been enjoying like household wise and um, cleaning wise and book wise. I already posted my November favorites for beauties and beauty products and my empties. That is going to be linked below. So if you want to check that out, you you check it out anytime you want. But I rambled on long enough. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I have more videos coming up. And um, I'll see you soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.